Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel and for today's video as you can tell, I am back home and this is because school is online for the remainder of the semester as I am sure is the case with any of you guys who have school as well. So I decided it would be a perfect time to share some tips to remain productive while taking classes online. And although I have never taken online classes, I think I'm generally a pretty productive person so I feel like I'll, I have gathered together some tips. I have them right here. And I will just share them with you and hopefully some of them will help because I know some of them will help some people more than others. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So my very first tip is to be organized. And I find that organization helps me with knowing that I'm gonna do this at this time, this at this time, and this at this time. I like being a, pl I'm a very like planned person. Like I like plans. I know some of you aren't like that. So this probably won't work for you, but I like to plan out my days. So for example, I wake up at 8 a.m., go eat breakfast. Then maybe I'll start with some homework. I'll relax a little bit. Then maybe I have an online lecture I have to attend. Then I'll eat lunch, you know, like just plan it out and generally try to stick to it, make sure that it's a reasonable schedule because if it's unreasonable, you'll start to feel very unmotivated and that's not what you want during this time, especially when you're doing online schooling. And another important tip is to spread out relaxation and studying or work, I guess. So for example, you know, get an online lecture done and then after that lecture is over, maybe take a half hour break do something that you enjoy. Then maybe start homework, and then after you do homework for like an hour, maybe work out for an hour. Just kind of like find that balance of what works best for you. So my second tip kind of goes along with what I was just saying is to reward yourself. And so basically after you complete an item off of your to-do list, I think it's important to give yourself a little reward. That way you have incentive to complete items off of your to-do list. So an example is, oh, I finished reading chapter six of my bio textbook. So now I'm going to reward myself with a 20 minute YouTube video, something like that. It could be your favorite candy. It could be YouTube videos. It could be 20 minutes of playing your favorite video game, whatever it is, just kind of reward yourself so you are motivated to finish a task. Third tip is to minimize distractions. And if you get distracted easily, I'd recommend trying to find a place in your house that is the quietest or works best for you environmentally. I know that could be hard sometimes, but if you could try to find that one place that works for you, that'd be great. Also, an important thing to minimize distractions, this is something that you can really take control of. And this is to keep distractions such as phones or other electronics away from your workstation. I'm aware that for online school, you need to have your computer open. So have your computer open, but stow away your phone, stow away your iPad, stow away whatever thing that will show up and bright up, light up when there's a notification and will distract you. So get those away. And um, I know that there are websites and like applications you can install on your computer to uh, block certain apps or websites. I'm not really too, what's the word, knowledgeable about this subject. So if any of you have used these websites or apps, leave some down below because I am completely clueless on this, but I have heard of it. And I think that if you do get distracted on certain apps easily, then you can block them. I'd also recommend turning off notifications on the computer that you're using, like for example, text messaging, because if you're like doing your online homework and you get a text that appears on the screen, you're gonna be distracted. So try to minimize those distractions by turning off those notifications and you can view them when you are on your break. My next tip is to not do this alone. It's very important, or at least I think it's pretty important to not Isol well, okay, you are physically isolated yourself, but I mean like 
you could talk online with people. So take advantage of like online resources such as FaceTime or other applications that are similar to work together with your friends. Studying with friends makes things more fun, but also you can bounce off ideas off of each other, if that makes sense. So maybe I know the chapter of spectroscopy really well, but my friend is struggling with kinetics. Like we could help each other out and we could work together and teach each other. And that's a good method too, because if you can teach something to someone else, you know that you really know it. So I think that's a good way to also study. And another advantage of friends is that you can keep each other accountable. So if you are the type of person that is not motivated to study alone, call up a friend and study with them and that way you'll keep each other accountable and don't get distracted. I know that study groups are like, only effective for certain people because I know some people get like really distracted and can't focus when they're on their friends I understand that but I would recommend trying it out and seeing if it's a good match for you also another thing that falls into this category is to not be afraid to ask your teachers or professors for help it's that's what they're here for they're here to help you and it might be harder to reach them online but I would still recommend doing so just because you can't see them in person doesn't mean they can't help you so just always keep that in mind communicate with your teachers and professors my fifth tip for you is to switch up your environment and this does depend on the type of person you are because i know some people who are completely fine working in one space all the time i know other people who need to switch up their environment in order to be productive just depends on what works best for you. I'd recommend trying both options out if you don't know what works best for you. Cause I feel like if you just sit around and do work at one place all the time, like the whole entire day, that's really draining. Cause think about in school, right? In school, you're walking around, you're moving, you're moving to your different classes. You're walking from one class to the next and you're getting different senses of environments. Your classes look different, your classrooms look different. And I think it might be a little nice refresher to maybe sit at your desk for a little bit. Then once you get tired of that, maybe sit outside in the backyard at a table. Just switch up your environment and see if a certain one works best for you or if the differences work best for you. My next tip for you is to exercise. And this is an important way to get a break from work. So you can incorporate this into your schedule if you wish. I think it's a great way to also relieve stress because I feel like when you're just, I don't know what type of exercise you're doing, but if you're exercising, your mind's not thinking about school. Your body feels great. So you can put your mind to work when you're done exercising and get back to focusing on that schoolwork. And lastly, just try to always remember why you're doing what you're doing when you're feeling really unmotivated because I know there are some days where you're just like man I really don't feel like doing anything I don't want to attend this online lecture I don't feel like doing my online homework but ultimately remember the reason why you're doing this especially if you're in college at the moment remember your dream your goal and just put yourself into that mindset again and be like oh yes this is why I'm enduring all this pain. And if you're in high school, you're working towards building that education in order to go to a college if you wish. And that is a great foundation that you're building in order to have the tools that you will need in the future. And just try to remember that. I know it's hard sometimes, but we all have those days. And with that being said, I hope that this video helped you with anything to do with online schooling. Once again, like I can't give you any tips per se on like specifics for online because I haven't done that yet. Actually, as this video is being uploaded, online school starts for me tomorrow. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I want this to be an open space even though not very many people will see this but for the people that do 
just leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns I will try to respond and hopefully you guys will try to respond if you have insight on this par particular topic but other than that I believe that is it for this video and I hope to see you back again next week for another video. Bye.